guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 5 of Slow Loops. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just finished watching a video essay of someone talking about a show that I kind of still watch, and boy, they went in. <laughs> Did I put my phone on Do Not Disturb? No. Oh, but she wants to go play with the boys. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, it'd be fun. You never know. Your daughter might get a huge passion for it. <laughs> no. No, no, you're okay. <laughs> oh, what's a face? The fact that they had to get up early in the morning. Oh, awesome. <laughs> no, do the interview. <laughs> no, for combo. Hmm. 
right? That's <laughs> Koi. Koi. Well, yeah, do you want to get wet? That too. I can't imagine people going ice fishing in the middle of the cold. Like, bruh. I know how y'all do it. <laughs> uh, it just reminds me of when I went on a boat ride last summer. And I was wearing heels. So I get off. And I think because my feet were so used to the boat. Did a couple walks. <laughs> ate it. And scraped the hell out of my knee. So I had to like literally pat dry like my skin on my knee so that I wouldn't get infected. Yeah, it's okay for girls to do anything. Exactly, it's not that common, but yeah, it's fine. Mm hmm. I mean, in a way, you can still be a girly girl, but still like to be a tomboy. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think it's just a big, like, stigmatism around it and such. Because it's like, oh, hey, you can't have this and this. <laughs> Please don't. No, we're going to bring Futaba. Mm hmm. I know. It's cute though. No. Mm -mm. 
I think that's okay. Yeah. My thing is, hold up. How do you know it hit the bottom when it just stopped? I mean, yeah, but damn. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. You can make it steamed. Oh. And that's okay. I'm getting Cooking Mama vibes. Every single week, I get the Cooking Mama vibes. And then when you don't get it right, she'll be like, it's okay. Mama, get it for you. I'll be like, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. and fry it. Ooh. <laughs> 
Oh. Poor baby. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Aww. Sweet. Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can't have good food without good alcohol. Or just good drinks in general. It's not weird though. Mm. Oh, too tall, Bob. Oh my god, I want to hug her and cry with her. Like, it's okay. Oh. 
Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> not ready for that car. <laughs> oh, that was cute. I would stand and give a standing ovation but like oh Oh, that was so adorable. Stop. Oh my god. Okay, but yeah, in a nutshell, between this week this week's episode and last week's episode, with the situation of Utaba really reminds me <laughs> as a okay, so as a kid I did like a lot of both like okay. So I'm a girly girl, but I'm also a little tomboy at heart. Yeah, I like to play sports and this is and the third and such. Not a lot of sports even now, but I knew a couple of girls and had a couple of friends who were very so girly girl, but still tomboyish. And I was another one of those girls who hung out with a lot of guys sometimes. And I had friends get jealous and say like, oh, well, you know, it makes you look like you just don't care about girly-ish and stuff. And I'm like... I still can, but I can still also do this. Like, it shouldn't matter at the end of the day. This is very similar to not only that, but it's like if boys like little girl stuff and how some guys will say, that's not right. It shouldn't matter what the fuck someone likes. It's just what, the, what matters at the end of the day if you like them and you want to be friends with them. I'm glad Futaba, is, you know, has a friend like Hiyori to be able to go fishing with because I mean yeah something like fishing like I said in that first episode I was like who the heck is this you know because every single time when I see someone fish it's typically an old man I've never really seen um girls do it even around here like th there's a couple of ponds around where I live here in Jacksonville especially like there's one down the street from me and I I was in the car with my mom. We were going to our outlet mall, which is like five, five-ish, ten minutes away. So she's driving. I'm just looking out, enjoying the scenery like I always do. And from the corner of my eye, I see this guy in this neighborhood in this pond, in the middle of the pond, fishing. And I'm thinking, I'm like, hold up, bro. You ain't even probably going to get anything in that pond because who knows? But, um, I think, like, my, even my uncle kind of likes to do it and such. It's kind of that normal thing, that pastime that, like, a lot of people like to do and such. And I'm okay with that. Even with the fact that, you know, this is going to probably end up, like, having a lot of girls wanting to be like, yeah, I want to go out and fish and stuff. And that is okay. You shouldn't, there shouldn't be an issue, regardless of what sex you are, about what you want to do do this is the same thing of like I had a friend in middle school who um 
well, at the time, way before we were in middle school, we knew each other because we were on the same basketball team. And by the time we saw each other again in middle school, um, she was the only girl who joined the football team. And she got a lot of backlash from all these other girly girls who I was friends with about being on the football team. And so in the end, like, a whole bunch of us was like, it shouldn't matter whether she's a girl or a guy, especially if she's a girl joining a football team, because she likes to do it. She has fun with it. What the fuck is the problem? And such. Even today, in 2022, there's still a lot of moments about, like, someone, like, okay, even today, with the, the gatekeeping and shit, or I think, what what did I see? I saw, like, a TikTok, like, what, two days ago? How, okay, Let's talk about anime, since we're talking about anime now. How, okay, when I grew up, um, if a girl like me, girly girl, also a black girl, told a friend, specifically a guy friend, that I liked anime, I had to, like, be fucking quizzed on it. To be like, oh, okay, you're cool enough. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Hold up, why in the world are you gonna quiz me on something? And the funny thing is, like, okay, that never really happened to me, but I got to a moment where, okay, you know the series, um, it's a book series, it's called A Series of Unfortunate Events, right? And this series had, I think, I think 12 or 13 books, and so, um, I read them all, and such. One of my so-called friends wanted to quiz me on it. And I'm sitting here, and I told him, but in my mind, I was like, what the heck is that supposed to do? But in my mind, I was like, what the fuck is that going to do for me? And such. I, I think it's dumb, because there are still people like that today who are like, oh, okay, you like this? Then tell me this, 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 is that, and the third, and such. What What does that do for you? Like, does that boost your ego in some ish for you? Like, are you really serious? And such, that's like if someone told her, told Futaba, like, okay, well, since you like fishing or you like this, what's this, this, that, and the third? What is it going to do? Nothing. Like, get the fuck over that shit. If she likes something that is, you know, typically for guys, that is okay. That's the same thing if a boy likes girly-ish, that's freaking okay. That is the new normal. Get over it. You don't like it? Sit your behind over on the side. I don't give a crap. But, I mean, really, this was a a good episode to go into those norms that even today a lot of people don't really talk about where it's like, oh, hey, girls should like girl things and boys should like bo- uh, boy things and they never should mix the two. But we're in an age where it is okay for guys to like girly stuff and girls to like guy stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. And it's okay. Like, it, once again, it's the new normal. Get the fuck over it. You're gonna see it. Even if you try to sit here and hide your kids or anyone from it, they're gonna see it. So get over it. I understand. But still, they're gonna see it. So let them embrace the fact that it's okay. Because if you hide your kids from it, your kids are gonna be afraid of it and such. I'm sorry. I I know. I I mean, I went went way off track. But, like, that's something that I gotta say. Because this episode, woo. I mean, it really, truly went into that. And so I hope that, you know, with this episode for whoever it speaks to, they're like, hey, it's okay for me to like this or that and everything else. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of Slow Loop. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will possibly see you guys next Friday because I know I got to work next Friday. And I'm possibly going out. I'm not 100% sure because, you know, my friend hasn't given me an answer yet (laughs) and such. But until then, I will see you guys either next Friday or next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys.